Try and get to know these players better. Start off with Gucci. Nolan Crumpler, 18 years old from Cornelius, North Carolina. His first MCS event. Jeannie, that's sort of the story here of the NFC South. A lot of first timers looking to make a name. Yeah, big underdog going in, 18 years old, first MCS major. He's going to be in the Carolina Panthers playbook, so I expect him to see him air it out a lot. A lot of gun bunch, might see a high scoring affair. Take a look at his mutt item to watch here, taking on Allen, a player that has been so good in so many matins, prime time with one step ahead. Yeah, the greatest corner ever. If you want to shut down Allen's high powered offense, you're going to need that prime time with one step ahead to be able to make some plays for you on your defense. On the flip side, the Madden 19 Chargers Club champion, Alan Gibson, only 18 years old from San Diego, California, has only earned $6,500 so far in his career. But TD, we know how talented he is. It was, it was, all the talk was Alan and Henry as the next two stars of the game. Yeah, probably unfair to be able to compare the two, but that was what everyone started, you know, saying when they first came out that these two guys are the future. Allen has that chip on his shoulder for this year, like we said. Crazy's three years in the MCS now, still only 18. So I mean, this kid has uh, all the everything ahead of him. I'm looking forward to see what he does here today. Looking at it, his mutt item to watch. No surprise, he's got the slinger running Brett Favre. Yeah, he's gonna air it out. He's wild on offense. That Brett Favre with gunslinger. I don't think we might see not one run play from him. He's gonna probably pass every play. So that Brett Favre gonna be huge for him. In these situations, especially here in what is safe to say, it's been a weird year here in 2020. Since these players are playing at home, who does that benefit more, Gucci or Allen? You know, it's tough because I don't. we don't know much about Gucci. And we know Allen as one of the best online players in the world. I mean, this guy is always looking for competition in different forums, different places on the Internet. So he's always trying to compete, play a lot of high-level tournaments, games like that. So I think the advantage is Allen just because he has a little bit more experience but I'm looking forward to see what Gucci has these guys get their audible set up third game of the day and it's been pretty good action here inside the NFC South only two divisions to go after that as we head northward over the next two weeks far on first and ten looks over the middle and there's Number 85, Chad Johnson down to the 39-yard line. Yeah, you see Allen ripping that 8-1-8, staying in that gun bunch. You know, 8-1-8, and he kind of needs this win to stay up to par with TNC. You know, he gets reps with guys like Henry, who we talked about, guys like Wesley, Pavin, Kiv. So he's going to be very well prepared. You see him first play of the game. He's already slinging it, already airing it out. First down and 10, Hill split wide left. Number four dropping back. Rolling right. Fucking He'll throw man. this one. I got to ask, TD. So we don't know a lot about him, but is, is Gucci going to, like, really, like, get laid back in this game? Is he going to take a nap in the middle? What are we looking at? <laughs> that chair is cranked all the way back. Yeah, he's, he might take a nap back there. He's pretty far away from the camera as well. Good defense right there. Looks like Allen could have took off for a couple yards. We decided to throw it away. Oh. Right side. He's got Bush wide open. First down and more oh. inside the 40. To the 36-yard line, easy pitch and catch to the former USC Trojan. Yeah, one of the easiest routes in the game, little table route. You see Gucci deciding to bring a little heat, bring in the blitz, the outside wide open Reggie Bush in the backfield for a nice big play for Allen. Crazy how long. Was Reggie Bush in the first players that were released with a 50? I believe so, yeah. And he's still, like, almost unanimously the, the best running back to have for at least in the meta right now yeah i think i think if you don't even if you don't use them you definitely have them on your roster as like your backup running back but most guys are using them <sighs> especially if you're a passer i mean there's not a better running back to have out of the backfield if you are a, a passing player and we've seen that so far first down to 10 allen quick work down to the 24 yard line looking I thought I was going to throw it left. Kind of Instead, he tried to find Bush underneath. Good hit by Gucci to pry that one free. Looks like he had the tight end wide open on that crossing route. Vernon Davis looks like he had a couple steps on his man. Checks it down to the angle route. Gucci all over it. Good defense. Allen continues to or excuse me, Gucci continues to two. Allen continuing to find number 25. Reggie Bush, first down to the 13. Yeah, you see him going to that double post play. 
you know, brand new play added to Madden 21 in the Carolina Panthers playbook. I think probably one of the best plays in the entire game, double post, checks it down to that running back on that little in route. That route does beat man, gets open for zone. Great check down. Allen converts, falls forward. Let's see what Allen can do red zone style. One more game after this. We'll head to Tampa for the final game in the NFC South. What a day. I actually appreciate all you guys hanging out with us. Split Johnson out wide left. Bar. Looking right, but nowhere to go. Good defense from Gucci. Oh, hold the door. Hold the door. Great defense from Gucci. You saw man-to-man -man coverage. A lot of zones out there. Great coverage. Defense in that 3-3-5 wide. And like we talked about a million times, this where it gets tough for the red zone. Allen. I'd like him to see go back to that tight end crosser with the hatback angle right underneath. Second and ten. We're gonna ride. Out of there, out of there, out of there, out of there, out of there. Come on, Prime time making plays. Gucci's pumped. He's fired up and rightfully so. The mutt item to watch. Primetime Deion Sanders. You see the emotion from Gucci. He's fired up. And we talked about this, Nick, with Allen. He has all the talent in the world, but he can get a little wild sometimes. And that's just a play you cannot try to throw. He's trying to go a high ball back of the end zone, but primetime Deion Sanders is too good. Gucci with the click on user pick. And what a defensive stand. <clears throat> How about that play in the red zone? That's a way to kick off your uh, your MCS career with a turnover to start the game. And we, and we talked about what it's like playing in your first fair. We talked about with Mr. Football, his first play, able to score a touchdown. Seems similar for Gucci wow. being able to start off with a stop. Yeah, and both guys getting fired up. You know, it's tough when you're mic'd up in these situations. You get so fired up. You get so riled up. Big defensive stand from Gucci back on offense. And got he him. is in the Carolina got Panthers got playbook as well. Ooh, we got to catch them. We got to catch those, baby. Gucci. You know, you know, uh, I don't know if it's bad or good when you're, you're begging your players to make plays. She's like, come on, man. Hold on to the ball. Yeah, it's a tough hey, job, though. He's going so, so, oh. Oh, he caught that. Oh, what? Terry McClure caught that. That looked like oh, an acrobat man. pick animation. Instead, Scary Terry picks up 17. I thought that was an acrobat pick. I really did, too. Oh, my goodness. Fortunate for Gucci, but it looks like we have a mirror match, Nick. Both guys in that Carolina bunch were seeing the same type of plays. Far on first and 10. Oh, he's taking the shot. He's looking for Ocho Cinco. And Gucci wrapping up a Christmas gift for Allen on the other side. Roll with the pick. And Allen, his usual laid-back demeanor, gets a defensive stop. Yeah, Allen playing a little wild. And then we see Gucci doing the exact same thing. So both these guys playing pretty much identical right now. Allen showing no emotion. Nice click on user pick. Gucci was just trying to go for it all right there. And Allen takes advantage. Fuller up the middle, far hit as he throws. Oh, that was dangerous. Gucci bringing the heat. That was nearly a safety. What a dial up right there. The user rush up the middle from Gucci almost paid off. If you're Allen, you got to be aware of that now. Second and 10. What a start to this game. Far. No user, user rush this time. It looks like a curl route. Oh, almost picked off. It's caught by Ocho Cinco. One each way TD and almost pick. Oh, man, this, both these guys using Brett Favre, and it seems like it because they are just slinging it wildly out here. No regard for their defense. These guys just came to take some chances. First down. What a start to this one, Favre. Look at over the middle. All right, it's got to feel good after a, a, a read that could have gone the other way to just find an open receiver on the next play. Laser show right there. Just a backside dig route. Those dig routes, absolute money versus man-to-man. -man. You see Chad Johnson, the best receiver in Mutt, had about three steps and picks up a first down. Great play right there by Allen. Back to work. Allen looking downfield. Got nowhere to go, still take off. And how about picking up 11? That's the benefit that Brett Favre gives you enough mobility to do things like picking up first downs. Good pocket presence, just steps right, steps up and takes off, picks up the first down. That far with a little bit of mobility and he shows it there. Two-man rush, 
Trying to get home. Third Last comes minute. in and forces the throw Last away from minute. Allen. Great user right Last there by minute. Gucci. You saw he might have had some run, some room to run with Favre. Gucci brought his user down and he had to throw it away. Phenomenal user and great defense on that play by Gucci. Both players rocking the Saints gold lighting. I'm gonna rep New Orleans. Screamer on off the edge. Down Come goes Brad. It's DRC me, with the sack third and long. Go to quick height. Here, go to quick height. Go to West Coast quick height. Defense. I'm really impressed by it. He's he's switching up his coverages. He's dialing up the Dang. blitzes. It seems like the best opportunities. He had that turbo rush earlier. Right here, he dials it up off the edge. Puts Allen in a tough third and 19. Allen dropping back. Steps up. Tackle. Tackle. Looks at the smart okay. pass okay. underneath. Okay. Bush will get. I think 11. Oh, to be fourth and eight. This is all you. Go for this. I expect oh, Allen to go you got this. to go for this. I expect him to come out maybe quick hike this. Allen loves to quick hike. I expect him to maybe come out go as quickly as possible here. Back in the bunch. Tyreek Hill on the outside of the bunch on the right side. He does snap it. Waiting. Looking. Hey, Back to the right side. And picked off. Oh, it was the pick for Gucci on fourth bad. down. He's trash. He's overrated. A18 is trash. Come on, bro. Get seven. Let him know how you feel, Gucci. He said 818 is trash and overrated. Oh, man, you can see the fire, the emotion. Just a, just for Allen right there, he kind of had to throw it up. I mean, that was his only Get choice. Off, Get off. Oh, Cooley breaks the tackle. Down to the 27-yard line. Big play once again. Gucci absolutely feeling it. Oh, yeah, he's the momentum's on his side. He's hyped up right now. Big underdog coming in. You can tell that chip is right on his shoulder. He's ready for this moment. First and 10. Quick flat route. Chad Johnson, no game. Yeah, that, that was a little better last year in Madden 20. You know, those motioned out little flats. You could kind of uh, rat catch them, cut up the field. Not as good this year in Madden 21. Tries to go to it. But if you're Gucci right here, you're playing good defense, don't turn the ball over. Quick throw to the flat. There's cooling. Oh, trying to get to the first down marker. He'll get nine. Nice little chess match going on. Allen decides to bring some heat. Gucci recognizes it. Just hits the flats. Picks up nine yards. Third in the yard. Five man rush. Picked up nicely. Has just a little flower. Oh, oh, baby! With no regard to human life, what a hit on the sidelines! Woo! What a hit right there by Allen. Gucci checks it down to the flats, but he pays the price for that first down. First and ten. Far up the seam. Got him. Bush to the house. Gucci puts the first score on the board. What a laser right there. Halfback wheel out of the backfield. Reggie Bush into the end zone. What a response by the Gucci man. Gucci gang stand up. 7-0. And now we see what sort of resilience Allen has. Two turnovers early. Can he find a drive here late in the half? Has one more time, TD. It's that halfback wheel. Oh, uh, absolute money in the red zone. You see a little baby out route over there to bring the zones out. Halfback wheel in that little pocket. Mo balls it. Touchdown, Gucci. First and 10. What can Allen do on offense here just to settle it down? He'll oh, baby out route. Tyree kill for six. Little out route right there. Goes a little flood concept to the bunch side. Had a corner route behind it. Checks it down to the out route. Nice little play from Allen right there. He's just going to get a little momentum going on. Going. We didn't expect zero points from Allen heading into the half here. Known for his offense. Gucci doing a great job on defense. Barb on second and five. He's going to try to throw B. He will. That's Chad Johnson in space. Out of bounds on the 39 yard line. Super dot right there from Allen. Chad Johnson once again puts him on a post route, beats his man on that man to man coverage, and he's able to convert. Great pocket, too. He rolled out left, stepped up through a laser beam. Two 
Two minute warning, seven nothing the score. He'll flip the bunch to the right side. Madden 19 Chargers Club champion. He'll find Vernon Davis. Should have a first down at the 27. Good play design right there from Allen. Goes to the corner up to the wide side, but just checks it down to the little tight end out route coming to the backside. He's going with some tempo now. Hurry up offense. How about Cooley underneath? Chris Cooley, the all-time leader for the Washington football team for receptions at tight end. And he's getting play here today. Clark. Take off. Ooh, Ooh, takes a hit. Let's pick up a first down. Always scary when you see number four taking hits. Very scary right there. Allen wanted that first down so bad that he was trying to etch up, etch it out before he went down. He wasn't able to get the dive, and fortunately he didn't fumble right there. Barb on first down. Here comes the pressure. He'll have to throw this one away. Gucci down up. Finally, that three-man rush looked like it was getting home. That was a bag if I've ever seen one. Every route was absolutely covered right there. Nothing to do, and Allen just throws it away, gives himself another play. Minute one left in the half. Allen needing a response. After Gucci able to score off the interception. Second and ten. Former Gold hey, Eagle stepping up. Hey, no and he threw! It's picked off! Don't look the other way! way. No oh, Gucci with his Come third on. pick of a first half TD! We said Allen was Jack reckless, Youngblood. but Gucci has taken advantage! Jack Youngblood! Come on, bruh! Way too reckless right now for Allen. I mean, he's trying to throw out a sack. Ah, he's just he's just hurting himself, man, because he's playing so good. He's getting into the red zone, and he's just giving Gucci the game. You can't do that when you're playing in these type of situations. Gucci just Pocket taking advantage of it. Pocket. Out of there, Out of there, Out of there. 85. Out of there, 85 to the crib for six. Gucci with a two-score lead. Underdog, Gucci saying, I'm no underdog. I'm here to ball. I'm here to play I mean, defense. 21 to nothing. That's man. a laser on the crossing road. Nothing. Gucci, 14 nothing. One play, 72 yards. And like a doctor in the 50s, he makes a house call. 14 to nothing. What a start for this young man in this first MCS Live final. Bag up right here. Bag up. Oh, boy. What pocket right here. You heard him call it out. Rolls, rolls up, rolls left, throws an absolute laser to Chad Johnson on the crossing route, and he takes it to the house. You think he's pumped to be here? You think this kid's confident? Man, he seems ready for this moment, Nick. 41 seconds left in the half. Allen needing an answer. Oh, man. All he's getting is a dial tone. Yeah, his defense has been exceptional. Allen is 11 for 21 with three picks. I mean, it's tough to win games when you're playing like that. But knowing Allen, this kid is talented. He's going to fight. Barb on second down. We'll find Vern. TD, here's the thing that scares me. If you're a fan of Allen, he's already... There's no... That, that body posture is already shaking his head. It almost feels like he feels like he's already lost the game the way he's showing it right now. Yeah, you can tell he's definitely upset with how he's playing, but he's usually laid back with his demeanor no matter what. Man, this defense from Gucci, he's just got everything bagged. Everything Allen wants to do is covered no matter yep. what. And, and every time Allen does get the ball down in the red zone, he's throwing it away. So I'm impressed with Gucci on defense. He's playing bend but don't break, getting him into the red zone, forcing him to make a mistake. Tackle. All I want is tackle. Down. Don't All I want is tackle. That is fine. TD, you, know, you know what this performance is reminding me of? Fine. It's defensive performance in the first half reminds me a lot of how that boy looked against Blocky defensively. Yeah, I think that's a good comparison. Playing that bend but don't break. Listen, you're going up against a guy like Blocky, a guy like Allen, it's so hard to get a stop. So, you know, you play solid defense, play a lot of coverage, force them to, to dink and dunk, get down to the red zone where it's tough. That's exactly what Gucci's doing. 20 seconds and counting. Tackles, tackles, tackles. Tackles. Left side. Got another four. Clock running, though. And he'll get one play with no timeouts left. Man, this is impressive. Whoa. This is honestly a, a masterpiece on defense that Gucci is putting together. I can't even lie. 
I mean, this is, you couldn't game plan better than this, and he's executing well, but still second half to go. Allen is very high powered. Plenty of time left for Allen. The tackle man. On foot, One more half. One will not go half. anywhere. Halftime. One more half. The go young ahead. man in his first MCS live right. appearance. Gucci. 14 to nothing. Teddy, I don't think anyone at home pictured it going like this. I don't think anyone thought this would happen except one man. So not Gucci, a.k.a. Gucci, a.k.a. Gucci man. Whatever you want to call him, he has showed up to play today. You can see the confidence. And, man, 14 nothing, phenomenal defense so far. And he gets the ball to start the second half. Gucci is feeling Gucci. With that 14-point lead, Allen in the comeback in the second half. The winner of the Saints Club Final will take home this amazing signed football from the New Orleans Saints. That thing is absolutely covered with autographs. A fantastic piece sent over from New Orleans. I'm sure a Saints fan, a football fan, would be happy to add that piece to their collection. And a reminder that our champions are not the only ones who can be winners today. Make sure you go to NewOrleansSaints.com forward slash Madden to register for your chance to win a Cameron Jordan Core Elite card. Jump in there soon. Supplies are limited. So make sure to sign up for your chance to win the Cameron Jordan Core Elite card. 14 nothing at the half TD. It's been all Gucci in this one set up by his defense. What, what does Allen have to do, especially not having the ball here to start the second half? What does Allen have to do to get back in this game? Yeah, it's tough, man. Gucci's playing so much coverage. He's rushing two half the time. If you're Allen, you know, you're not doing a terrible job getting down the field. It's just when you get into that red zone, you got to make better decisions. you got to cook something up when it gets in that red zone because if he would have took his threes, even at this point, he'd still be right in the game. It's just those turnovers in the red zone are absolutely killing him. Is there any concern, Gucci being in his first MCS Live Final, is there any concern – from what you've seen about him maybe not being able to close out, maybe getting too conservative later, does he look like he's in firm control of his game? No, that's a good point. You know, some guys, inexperienced, they might lay off the gas in these type of situations. But from what I've seen with his demeanor, I mean, it doesn't look like he's going to do that. You know, he looks like he wants this bad. He's playing with a lot of juice. So I expect him to keep it going, but you never know. I have a feeling that we're going to have a Gucci gang on Twitter after this. If he's able to close out this win 14 to nothing. Gucci on top and with ball. Rolling out with Favre. He'll throw this one away. Good defense from Allen to kick things off. Yeah, and the one thing, though, Nick, you know, we talked about, you know, don't be conservative, don't lay off the gas, but the one thing you can't do is just let Allen back in the game. Just no turnovers, nothing silly that will allow Allen to get back in this easily. Second and ten. And how about once again, Allen's defense locking up. This is a good way to start. Yeah, and you heard Gucci say, I had the flat. you got to recognize that. The blitz was coming flat, was wide open. If he just checks down, he's got at least five <laughs> yards there. But if you're Allen, this is the second half start you wanted. He's going to that 1-4-6. Look for the heavy heat coming off the edge. We'll see if Gucci can pick it up. This would be a good start to the comeback effort. If Allen can get a stop here, third and ten. In the bunch is Laser. Gucci. Allen's punch pressure, but it wasn't there. Didn't get home. And a beam from Let's Gucci go, for 22. Go, that's a backbreaker for Allen, and that's a clutch dot from Gucci. Tight window, corner out to the sidelines, and he converts. And now if you're Gucci, you might want to think about mixing in some run plays here. You see him using this clock. I love it. Use this clock. Even if you got to kick three, go up three possessions. Great play calling so far on that first play. How about the read, though, from Gucci? That is a throw as a as a non-professional Tyler Davis. I would be absolutely terrified to make. Oh, exactly. That is a tight, tight window. I, me as a conservative player, I might not even throw that. That is a tight window. I love the pocket presence Gucci has shown, and he throws a laser beam out in the, in the corner row. Oh, dangerous throw. The acrobat almost made a play. Vernon Davis able to reel that one in third and one. Yeah, we just talked about how good of a throw on that last window. And then here he throws a very risky one. Those acrobats are scary, man. That's why Allen has seven of them out there on his defense. They can make a play at any time. Third and a yard. Oh, a three-man rush looking left side. Dangerous oh. throw. Oh, Allen gets the turnover he needed. Picked off night train lane with the old school helmet making a play for Allen. And there's the inexperience, Nick. I mean, third and one. The game is in your hands. 
don't let Allen back in the ball game. Just, just you can't do that. And Allen, being more of a veteran, he takes advantage. That could be a momentum swinger. If you're Gucci, that's a big mistake. Allen, let's see what he's got. Let's see if he's got some firepower in this offense. It's a whole new half in the game of Madden. Two-man rush from Gucci. Our right side, Vernon Davis. Breaking tackles and breaking hearts. Picking up nine. Yeah, good defense again. But So if you're Allen, you might need a little break here. Like something fortunate to go your way, some broken tackles, maybe some type of big play to get that momentum back going your way because Gucci's played uh, amazing defense. Allen laps with some of the best in 818. Kiv, Wesley, Henry. Ooh! Mo. I'll throw Mo in there. Why not? Yeah, so I dunked no. on the user so much. I had to dunk on Mo once. <laughs> oh, man. Another risky pass again by Allen. Man, he's living life on the edge. Third and a yard. Hold playbook open. Here comes pressure. Nicked up. And there's 85. Ocho Cinco to the 43-yard line. Big time dot right there by Allen. He had the he had the deep S post and backside. He had a crossing route, able to step up, throw a nice little bullet. I don't like the decision right there by Gucci. You're playing great coverage defense. He decides to blitz. That gives Allen a little chance to make something happen. I like to see him stick in that coverage defense. And he will go back to the two man rush. Oh, man. for a playmaker or a bounce, and Allen will throw this one away. 17 of 30. Little. Over 50% passing, but three interceptions thrown up by Allen. Might have had a little space there to take off of this quarterback for a couple yards, but decides to throw it away. Mm -hmm. uh, looked like he could have took off up the middle. Going back to that bunch. Gucci staying in that coverage defense. Ah, this 3-3-5 three, three, wide. Barb. Right side, tough throw, but a great throw. I believe that's Chris Cooley with the catch. Eight on second, sets up another third and short. And Ty, these third and shorts are so tough to defend because the entire playbook is open. Yeah, very difficult. We know Allen, though, he doesn't like to run the ball. So I think 1,000% this is a pass. Tight window there. If you're Gucci, you're honestly okay with giving that up. But great, a nice little throw right there by Allen. Big third and two for Allen. Barb will drop back. And he'll hit the flat route. It is Vernon Davis. Tight roping up the sidelines, and all of a sudden, you're seeing this offense put together a little bit of a rhythm. Every time Gucci decides to not play that coverage, two-man rush, and brings a couple more guys, Allen takes advantage. If you're Gucci, I wouldn't even send more than two guys again. You're playing such good coverage defense, forcing Allen to use his clock. You might want to stick with that. Oh, my God, that looks so crazy. That looks oh, so crazy. You know what I'm you know, from that Gucci. looks so crazy. Mark with Kendall so Fuller, four picks for the young man. In this. What a user pick by Gucci in a huge Lurk moment. Is so crazy. And you hear him, Lurk is so crazy, and I agree. A crazy Lurk on the out row right there underneath. That is a big time play and a big time moment by Gucci. One more. Run him out of there, Cooley. Out of there, Cooley. And bam. Whoa, Shoot. hit him with a little Shoot ghost that. truck. Shoot that. And Chris Shoot Cooley's that. down to the 31 yeah. yard line. 30 to 0. Chris Cooley's such a beast. You see Allen now. He's starting to get where he's got to take some chances. He brings the heat, turbo rush, bringing about six guys right there. Gucci just throws to the flats. And now he's going to go to the I form tight. This is gonna be a. This is gonna hurt if you're Allen because you know it's milk and cookies right here getting out of the third quarter for Gucci. Woo! Look at his AP. AP almost got AP. a fire. He almost got a fire. It's two. Of He'll get one more play run here in the Eight. third Eight. quarter. Eight. Gucci already in field goal range. Yeah, this would be a big, big time win for Gucci. Big upset on the horizon here. We talked about all day who was on upset alert in the pre-show. I believe user did say Allen was on upset alert. He did. So hashtag the mush. He's really turned it around this year, even though he started with that DUI yeah, but, pick. But, but see, let me just point out, he, he didn't go all the way forth, though. He didn't pick Gucci to win. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I mean, so what do we listen to? Do we listen to the, the two-minute yeah. drill, or do we listen to the chunky prediction? Hey, sometimes, see, that's the thing. Sometimes when you when you have a feeling that someone might get upset, you got to go with the pick user. You're down one in the record. you got to take that chance. It would have paid off. 14-0. Four's up in the chat. 
Gucci now at the edge of field goal range. That sack pretty big. And a big hit on Peterson. It's a 57-yard kick. And the game's saying you can't make it. Big mistake from Gucci on second down. Big time mistake. I feel like we saw this last week. I forget what game it was. I don't know it was Evil O's game back a couple weeks ago. Same type of thing here. You could have just took a knee or took the QB sneak and go up three possessions. Oh, he's still going to try it. I don't know. This is far. Okay. Hmm, hmm. Talk to me, um, Janikowski. Big leg from Janikowski. Can Janikowski, he get it there? The <laughs> kick is oh. up. And it is good from downtown. And Gucci and goes up three and scores. And waste time, waste time, that is a time. big time kick. Everything you know, a 60 yarder is not easy. You know, your first MCS appearance, the nerves are running wild. He'll still be you alive know, right I've now. seen a lot of times where guys kind of shank a the field goal and clutch goal. He'll still be alive right now. You ain't gassing up. He hit a 60 yarder, go up three possessions. That's a big time kick from Gucci in a pressure moment. Barma, first down. Bang, man. Nothing is open. Nothing is open, man. Nothing is open. Saints past you champion Shugs in 2018. Friend, our very own serious moment 19. Is terrible? Nick Hacker last terrible? year. And y'all was giving this man. And it looks like I'm going to have. The one. I'm Allen 7 to 1, man. Yeah, man. He's so good at the game. <laughs> so not Gucci. The call out on everyone who doubted him. About. I like it though, Nick. I like that that fire. He's got that chip on his shoulder. You can tell he knew coming in. <laughs> big underdog. You heard him saying seven to one. Allen, big time favorite coming in. Gucci knew that. I think he had that that momentum, that that fire, oh that confidence. God. Sometimes when you're like we talked about in the pregame, Nick, when you're a big underdog like that, you're playing with house money. You're playing loose. Yeah, I'm keep running the same and, thing. I'm gonna keep Gucci really came out all out, especially on defense. He certainly is look confident. Oh Exclamation Kick point. Bang, oh, Tyree can't bang. pull it in. Gucci, maybe, maybe trying to show Kick off bang. a little bit. How about the I defense there? Swat that one away. Yeah, he wants more. He wants another pick. You see Allen just disgusted with himself and how he played. Hey, I know this. Hey, I know this Eva got to go crazy. I know this Eva. He, hey, I don't know if he caught him out or if he got. I know this got to go crazy. That's playing the game, huh? Man, he won't stop running. Keep, 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 keep. Third and ten. Allen completely boxed up. Look over the middle. Push. Oh, time out. Big hit. He'll pick up a first down. TD. You oh, know you hate to bring game. it up, but. I think you this for the rest man, of the I'm game. getting flashbacks to Madden 19. Another game, Allen. So much hype around him as he'll might time. have him downfield. He does. He put himself on the board, but was that too little too late? Are we having a flashback to 19? Still he not over. I mean, no credit. Even that no credit. timeout kind of hurt, though. If he would have three timeouts, he, he still is alive. It's, uh, it's going to be really tough, Nick. He's probably still going to need an onside kick. Oh, oh, to your oh, point, oh, oh, he's going oh, onside oh, kick oh, now. Down, Let's Jamal, see. Calm down, Jamal. Calm down. And he caught him. Pick it up, pick it up. He pick caught it up. him. Can he get God, it though? He'll man. kick it directly out of bounds. Chill out. Chill out with the onside. Hey, look at this one more time. How many times have we seen Terry Matt getting loose? Yeah, one on one fade route, man to man, burns Champ Bailey over the top. So, you know, and to, for Gucci here, you don't want to lay He's off so the gas a little bit. I know you want to run He's this so clock. One first down seals it. For sure, it's it, you know it's gonna be tough for Allen regardless, but one first down definitely seals this thing. Second and eight. Now one game to go here, folks. Don't forget we also got. Thank you. One time for me. Derwin James versus the world presented by Oakley. How about Derwin taking on Keenan Allen? TD, I, listen, I no longer doubt Derwin. I think he's gonna beat everyone. He's gonna go 100 now, but it's gonna be fun seeing him. You know, he hasn't been around with his uh, recovering from his early injury, and it's going to be fun seeing him interact with a teammate. Yeah, definitely. That's going to be some, some good stuff to watch. You know, Derwin, 
I, I would never go against Derwin, but I do know Keenan has some has some game. You know, he's big on Madden. I've seen him play in the past, so I know he has some game, but it, it's tough to go Madden, against man. Derwin. He's still Give good. me a first. Third and seven. Gucci trying to close this one out. Hi, AP. AP. It's the 44. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. You can take this all the way down to the two-minute warning. Just an impressive performance by, by Gucci. I mean, He'll to get three picks. He'll still be a lot right now if you can gas him up. Pretty much lock everything up that Allen wanted to do. Y'all know what pack we Big on tonight, boys. Y'all know bigger. what pack we on tonight. Seventeen to seven. Gucci with the lead. He's gonna punt this one away and play some defense. No fair catch. Woo. There's a little bit of green grass. There was though. If you're Allen too, you didn't fair catch because you're just trying to make a play happen. You're just looking for anything you can get a big play out of. Almost had a chance right there. If he could have broke one tackle. So he's going to need an onside kick at some point. Barb on first down. Oh, my God. Left side, big catch. Cooley to the 49-yard line. Listen, you never know what can happen in a game of competitive Madden. We've seen crazier. Verticals, verticals. Favre dropping back. Pressure up the middle. Favre. How about 41 pass attempts for Allen? He's been just – I mean, why even have a running back at that point? Coming into the game, you know, I said that. He doesn't like to run the ball. I didn't know if we'd see one run attempt from him. I don't think we did see one run attempt. So I was pretty on point with my prediction there. You know, I'll give myself a little pat it, uh, on the back. But, uh, sure. yeah, it, but that's the one thing I always preach, too, is you do want to be a little bit more balanced. I know how talented Allen is passing. Yeah. He's going for all here. Oh, my God. Oh, almost caught by Johnson. Third and 10. Tini, the other thing that surprised me is we looked at the stats from the Saints clubs, and Gucci had the worst scoring defense. And look what he's been able to do against Allen, one of the best offensive players. Yep, exactly. This Gucci's defense won him the game. It wasn't his offense. His offense was fine, but his defense, man, really is what won him this Saints club. So he made some big improvements from that online ah, qualifier. Both down. down. Davis will pick up eight. We'll call it seven. It's going to be a fourth and three nonetheless. This is your ball game. Inbound. He will pick up a first down with Bush. It is inbounds, though. Yeah, I'd kick the field goal now. Yeah, it looks like he's going to. Onside, onside kick, man. I played so bad this game. So Allen's still fighting as onside the kick, kick is kick, up, please, and yeah. it is good. He's going to look for a little love for the man yeah, of God. No, Can no, he recover yeah, an onside please. kick? Does he have a little magic in him? No. It's picked up by Ocho Cinco. Hansi makes the play, and Gucci will be the new Saints club champion. No, what man. a performance Big here. Big Gucci, 8-1. to one. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? What's wrong with these people out here? Big Gucci. I don't know who I am. Big Gucci. Big Let them know, Gucci. baby. I like it. I love to see that fire, Nick. I really do. He knew he was the underdog. He was he was doubted. He had that chip on Pick his shoulder. Play. He came out and Pick your play. Out. It's over. And he's the Saints, he's he's the Saints Club champion. PlayStation. PlayStation. <laughs> I got to ever lose the PlayStation. The best formation oh, in football. It used to happen. Victory formation. Quiet down Let's that go, crowd. Man. He needs and GG's. What a win for Gucci. Came into this game as the underdog TD. We said this day was going to be all about watching to see if there was an upset. And there was. Gucci trying to let people know this is no upset. He's here to win. This is no fluke. Big Gucci came and balled out. We talked about Allen being on upset alert. We weren't sure because, you know, right we were expecting a big Allen win from Allen. And he was the complete opposite. Gucci with a big win a, a big upset.
it is a final. So not Gucci is the Madden 21 New Orleans Saints club champion, 17 to 10 over Allen and Ty, as you mentioned, it was all about the defense for Gucci locking down that high powered 818 offense. I'm so impressed by Gucci's defense. I mean, to get four picks, a bunch in the red zone, to lock up Allen's high-powered offense is not an easy task. He did just that, and the underdog comes through with a huge win. Amazing how much pressure can be taken off when your defense makes plays, because he then didn't really have to do a whole lot offensively because he was in so many short fields. Yeah, I thought the strategy was perfect. You know, bend but don't break. So hard to stop Allen. Get him into the red zone where it's tough. And then you either force him to kick three or you get some turnovers, which is what he did. And he was able to do enough on offense and get the job done. And for Allen, another tough loss in a big situation. Uh, just remember, he's 18 years old. He's still got so much of his Madden career ahead of him. He laughs with some of the best, but... He's just got to figure out how to perform in these high-pressure situations in the live events. Once he figures that out, look out. Yeah, I think it's unfair to him because he has all this hype around him, but he's only 18 years old. I mean, he's got a, such a bright future. I expect this guy to be in contention for a belt uh, in these next few years. He just has to stop playing a little bit so wild, you know, control it a little bit. And, man, the sky's the limit for him. I got to know how we keep the stats in those in the online eliminations because that did not look like a 32nd ranked scoring defense. Gucci seemed to know exactly what Allen was going to do. And, and you don't get four interceptions by accident. No, you don't, man. He played a lot of coverage. He basically rushed to every single play, was watching. Allen kind of went to the same play a lot, you know, the had back angle rope, the tight end crossing rope, a deep uh, S post. And Gucci expected that. You kind of heard him saying he's just going to run this play all game. So he knew what was coming and he had the perfect game plan for it. And, man, now you look forward to January. There's a lot of time. You never know what will happen with the game. But I think the biggest thing, you, the biggest comparison you have between Gucci and Mr. Football is that confidence. And these two confident players going into January with not a lot of expectations on them, all of a sudden these are guys who can make dangerous runs and not just be spoilers, but take home some real cash. The first thing I noticed from both guys was that chip on their shoulder. I mean, these guys played with swagger, with confidence. They believed they were better, even though they were both underdogs. They believed they were better. They were ready for this moment, and boy, did they take advantage. Well, Gucci is your New Orleans Saints club champion. And man, he's going to take home a pretty amazing uh, prize from the New Orleans Saints. That football TD is absolutely covered in signatures. There's not one or two on there. They might have the whole squad and last year's team. Yeah, that is awesome. I can see Cam Jordan on there. I mean, all the studs, Saints, possible Super Bowl contender this year, so that's a big time football to get. That's awesome stuff. What a prize. What a win for Gucci, and now we will have one game left here in the NFC South. This, is, this has been quite an interesting division, TD. A lot of underrated players in this one. And now the marquee match, we can see Clef the God in action. Yeah, I think everyone came to see Clef. I mean, probably one of the biggest stars of our sport. Uh, had a, such a big year last year making those deep runs. Always high-powered on offense. And, you know, when you make a list of top five guys you expect to make a run at a belt in Madden 21, Clef's at the top of the list. So I think everyone's going to be tuned in to see what he's got. Well, the New Orleans Saints. So happy to have their champion in Sonat Gucci. They sent over a very special congratulations. Look at him. He's pumped. I love when the mascots get involved. The Saints have a new champ. It is the underdog. So not Gucci. I'm a boo. What a game. The New Orleans Saints Club Championship is presented by the University of Louisiana.